Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm here with this week's Angel Messages and I'm thrilled that you join me on numerologist.com. All right, so our messages this week are all about love and fear. What are you choosing? Are you choosing love or are you choosing fear? Let's see what the angels have to say. Place your hands over your heart, just like angel wings. In invite your angels to guide you to message one, two, or three. A message that comes from their heart to yours. What you can also do is invite your angels to guide you as you move your coaster along. And then when you intuitively feel it's time to stop right there is an extra message for you from your angels, from their heart to yours. I love that. They're always there, of course. They're always guiding you. So just go with your intuition. All right, we have three cards. These are for my Aurasoma deck. So if you could intuit, which is your card? All right, so we could do it two ways. You could even intuit the card that's for you and intuit the card that's the number as well. So I feel like it's the middle one. First card. Now, this one is all turquoise in Orosoma. In the tarot, this is the Eight of Cups, as you can see. And this person is looking for, it's almost like a missing, a missing piece. There's something that's missing here. But an aspect of this is that a lot of energy has been fallen away. A lot of things have been lost. So there's some fear that could be there. I've lost something. I've been rejected. Something hasn't worked for me. But your angels are saying, you can create whatever you want to create. You can bring into your life whatever you want to bring into your life. Now it's time for you, maybe, to let go of the fear, that's an aspect of the turquoise, and create the love that is all around you. That's also an aspect of the turquoise. Fear is within the yellow of the turquoise. The creativity part is within the blue of the turquoise. Bringing those vibrations together, there's balance within it. So let go of the fear and just embrace the love. If there's fear that's there, if there's something that you've lost, if there's a relationship that you've lost or a job that you've lost or money you've lost, what your angels are saying is, look at all the things you've gained. Look at all the wonderful, emotional, mental, spiritual, physical energies that you've gained from that experience. And now just put that down to experience, let go of the fear and allow yourself to step into love, into a new adventure. I feel that's what's happening right here. This person, you, you're moving off into a new adventure and your angels are right there with you, guiding you into that new adventure. All right. Our second card, what do you think? I feel like it's this one. Okay. Second card is the lovers. This is all red in Orosoma. So to me, this vibration, especially with the pink, is Archangel Shamuel. And Shamuel is saying, okay, you've got this relationship that's here. You've got something that's working for you. You are being protected. You're being loved. If you have something and you're afraid of, again, of losing it, then it takes away from the beauty of having it in your life. I feel that with all this red, all this red energy, that something new is right there, is starting for you. And it could be a new relationship, could be a new job, it could be a new way of being, could be a new diet even. But if you fear failure, then you won't be able to experience the joy of the success that's there. And there is success that's there. This red energy is hugely successful. This is the lovers. The lovers is coming into this place of passion, excitement, adventure. There's so much fun that's in here. Now, if this isn't about relationship with somebody else or a job that's outside of you, 
This can be your connection with yourself, the balance of the male and female within yourself. And you are being protected, you are being supported by Archangel Shamuel and you're also being supported by another vibration behind you, maybe one of your guides. They're right there with you. They're with you all the time. This was a message right at the beginning. I don't usually have that message because you know. But obviously right now, you need to know that your angels are always with you. This red vibration is a pure energy. It's the root chakra. It's right at the very beginning. Where is your passion? Don't allow yourself to fear that that passion will take you in the wrong direction or won't manifest in the way that you want it to. Allow yourself to explore the passion, to take that next step, to be fearless and really embrace the love that is waiting for you. <laughs> I love that. I love that energy. Okay, our final card is Archangel Metatron. Now, Archangel Metatron has 13 wings, right? There's 13 pairs of wings, sets of wings, this beautiful vibration. And when I look at this card, in Orosoma, this is olive and magenta. And the olive is about, there's an aspect of letting go of judgment, of letting go of resentment, of embracing all possibilities. Letting go of fear comes into this card as well because this is an enormous amount of fear that can come in with Archangel Samuel. When I, when I feel this, when I feel the energy of Samuel, there's, there's almost like there's a sense of waiting to open up. There's waiting to open your wings, waiting to open your heart, waiting, waiting, waiting for the right time, for the right environment, for the right amount of money, for the right job, for the right relationship. It's just this feeling of waiting. And, and I feel as if the waiting is holding you back. But now is the time. Now is the time for you to take that step. Now is the time for you to say I'm ready. Now is the time when you're at your most powerful, not in a month's time or six months time or a year's time. If that energy is encouraging you and inviting you to take that step, don't wait. I feel that Samael, there's an aspect of this which is about fear and it's fear of everything tumbling around you because it hasn't worked, because that risk hasn't worked. But I feel that Samael is also saying, open yourself up to possibilities. Open yourself up to the possibility of a failure. At least you would have taken that step. At least you would have taken the risk. What I feel in this is that Samael is asking you to connect with your heart. That's the green vibration, the heart. What is it your heart most wants? And with magenta, you have everything available to you, all the ingredients available to you to achieve what you most want. And your angels are going to help you with that. What's interesting to me is when I look at this image, I see that Samuel is naked is vulnerable so you may be feeling very vulnerable and especially in the heart feeling very vulnerable around your heart around your emotions but i see this eye and i feel that an aspect of this is saying see the truth what is true what is really true for you and go with that your angels are going to support you with that always they're always going to support you with truth ask for the truth to be there what do I need to know now? What is the truth in this situation? And they'll reveal it to you. 
Okay, that's it for this week's angel messages. I hope you enjoyed them. Now let me know in the comments below if the messages resonated for you. And remember to subscribe to the numerologist.com channel. There's lots of wonderful goodies on there for you. I will see you next week with another angel message. Bye for now.